Okay, art therapy is a, um, a therapeutic activity that aims to the emotional, physical and well-being of individuals. It uses creative processes in order to um, try to achieve a, a, an elaboration of certain traumas or certain inner obstacles to overpass within the individual. The use of colour is, is vital, it's very important. Each colour of the spectrum has an individual um, effect on the physiological, psychological and neurological aspect of the self. Uh, colours, for example, such as red, causes an increase in, uh, in the breathing, in the nervous system activity, in, um, in the blood pressure, mm -hmm. and colours such as blue is completely different. It would, uh, causes a decrease in breathing, in the, it would lower the blood pressure and uh, it would calm down the, the individual. Yellow it would uh, excite and it would be very stimulating, even, even corrosive, as a color that reflects a lot of light. So each color has a different and very important effect on, on the body, on the mind and on the emotions, which obviously we have to remember always that you know, we have to see as the cultural differences that would make a color have a different interpretation, or even uh, an, an experience related to a certain color would have, would have a totally different effect. The color breath art therapy is divided in uh, different stages, we can say in three main stages. And uh, in few words, is the use of colors, uh, but without any tools such as brush or, uh, or even your hands, but entirely the use of your breath. So what you literally do is to breathe and blow on the color in order to create a shape. That shape will become the abstract images on which you will project your thoughts and the images. You will start to see things within the abstract shapes of the stain. And uh, these obviously can be related to the Rorschach ink, ink block test, that it was um, a projective test and it was based on the idea of showing ink blots to the client and ask for an interpretation. Um, in the color breath art therapy, it's the, the process is very similar, with the difference that it's not the therapist that has the power to, to create the image or to show the image to the to the client, but it's entirely up to the client the creation of the stain of color. The first part of the process is related to the body and the emotion by which it's influenced and it is focused on the act of breathing. After a few simple breathing exercises, the patient will choose amongst the three primary colors one or more colors that better resonate with his state of being at the moment. After letting drop some of the color on the paper, he will then begin to blow on the liquid until creating an image on the paper. The two main characteristics of this first stage of the therapy are first, the stimulation of the respiratory system and the release of emotion. The quality and the level of intensity of emotion is directly related to the way we breathe. Restrictive breathing patterns also support subconscious defenses mechanism in suppressing unpleasant emotion. The other aspect of this physical stage is that we are painting with no other tool but our breath. The only use of breathing engages the body in a physical laboring and through the overstimulation of the respiratory system, the patient is brought to an almost meditative and more awake and present state. At the end of this first stage, however, we haven't yet seen the images manifesting. What we have so far is in fact nothing but stains of colors. At this stage starts the second part of the therapy. Just like in Rorschach Inc.'s blood test, the patient is presented with abstract images which will be asked to make an interpretation of. 
The therapist has no relation whatsoever to the painted image the patient is about to observe and project himself on. The painting in question has been in fact entirely created by the patient himself. This is his image. It is owned only by him and has no other link but the ones in between his emotions, his breath and his thoughts. Now the patient is observing the stains of colors and discussing with the therapist what type of images he sees inside him. It is important here that the element of intimacy is strengthened by the therapist's approach to what the patient will express regarding his observation of the stains, which has to be absolutely unjudgmental. The third and last part of the therapy implies the manifestation and representation of the images the patient saw in the stains of color. Using a pen or pencil or any other drawing material, the patient will follow the outline of the images he sees in the stains and in this way he begins to define and represent his vision on the paper. This process will terminate only when the entire surface of the stain will be delineated. By representing all the images, the stains of color suggest the patient has brought them from being a recondite and subconscious reality to become an outer, clear and conscious object to which he can now relate to and begin to work on. What here seems to be a conclusion is however only the foundation of the healing aspect of the therapy. The work will carry on in further elaboration of the images developed through the therapy, which aims to empower the patient with the imaginative quality of experience this technique provides. As the patient will carry on the spontaneous representation of his projective vision with more exercises, his mind will be enriched with a positive degree of inspiration and liberation, derived from the letting go of the destructive inner images collected in his subconscious through time. The aim of the color breath therapy will be to achieve a more and more healthy and liberated subconscious activity in order to create a solid foundation for working on further self-discovery and healing.